I have grown up playing both the violin and also the hardangerfil, which is the national instrument of Norway. And I have always been so fascinated uh, with the similarities, but also the contrast within the two different genres. Edvard Grieg, he has actually himself said that the suites from Per Gint are inspired by Norwegian folk music. And for instance, the uh, opening tones of the morning mood is actually taken directly from the Hardangerfil, the underlying strings. It's a direct uh, connection. <laughs> It was very important to me to, of course, be very true to uh, Grieg's version of these suites, but then have another view on the uh, sound landscape. And so I therefore asked uh, Tormod Tvetevik to do the arrangements for Hardangerfil and, uh, and the wonderful Trondheim soloists and also violin and, and uh, orchestra. And uh, that has been so interesting going down the, um, the line and trying to, uh, to find some other way of like the, the sound landscape of, of the pieces. So I wanted to bring back back to the source in a way, to, uh, to the inspiration for Grieg, which is the Hardangerfil. So uh, five of the pieces has been then um, arranged especially for Hardangerfil and uh, orchestra. I realized going deeper into the material that uh, it just widen up the possibilities for what we could do with the instruments for the Hardanger film, but also the violin. And at the same time, find a nice way to combine the two genres, um, keeping it the, the traditional way of doing it, but also how they can be the new combination that people haven't heard before. I think Edvard Grieg, he wrote in a way that uh, people felt so connected to the music. They felt connected to the landscape, the Norwegian landscape, the melancholy in it, and also actually Per Gint's story, I think, which is also very relevant today. And we have these wonderful melodies of um, Orses' death, for instance, but also the, the Hall of the Mountain King. And um, I think people really can relate to those melodies and, and uh, what I feel listening to, to the music. I wanted to bring more my um, background from the folk music genre and that has been very very exciting and interesting to see how that will work with more the, in the classical scene and um, doing the improvisation um, and especially because in traditional folk music there are of course a set of way of playing a traditional tune but it's possible to do some uh, special or like personal improvisation within that, that frame. So for instance, uh, the death of Ose, which is such a beautiful melancholic piece, uh, it's just more than listening to the, the feeling in the music and find a way to uh, improvise there. And I must admit that I also add some traditional listening tune into that music because I think yeah, that suited so well. The listening tune is um, from a lullaby from the south of Valdres. It has been such a joy working with the Trondheim Solis and especially also spending the, the hours here in the recording studio together also with Jörn Pedersen. Uh, I think the orchestra has such a special sound. They have really their own character and you can really hear that oh this is the Trondheim Solists. The, the combination works so well so I'm just so excited about that and so so grateful.